О, как горит все. Если завод. Есть испадавшие. Ну, как горит все. Если завод. Есть и спадавшие. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has described Russian President Vladimir Putin as the sick grandfather from Red Square, who constantly threatens everyone with a red button, stressing that he will not dictate to us any of his red lines. Zelensky also described Russia as a terrorist organization number one. Speaking at the event to mark Ukraine's Independence Day on August 24, Saturday, Zelensky said Ukraine has taken a revenge for the invasion of his territory. What the enemy brought to our land has now returned to his own home. And the one who wanted to turn our lands into a buffer zone must contemplate so that his country does not become a buffer federation. Furthermore, Zelensky, said that the Ukrainian military for the first time struck the positions of the Russian army with a new weapon, the Palyanitsa drone missile. However, the Ukrainian leader did not disclose where and against what targets the missile was used. Thanking the manufacturers of the Palyanitsa missile as well as the soldiers using it, Zelensky said, this is our new form of retaliation against the aggressor. The enemy was defeated. Commenting on the cross-border incursion into Russia's Kursk region on August 6, Zelensky said the offensive was not aimed at the improvement in Ukraine's position in hypothetical peace negotiations. In his words, the attack, during which Ukrainian troops took control of an estimated 1,000 square kilometers of Russian territory, has several goals. One of them is the capture of Russian military personnel, and the second is a preemptive strike in order to prevent a Russian attack on the city of Sumy. Zelensky stressed that the attack on Kursk showed that Putin is more concerned about the occupation of Ukraine's territories than the protection of his own people. He is still thinking about how to hold on to the occupied territories and does not think about how to properly protect his people. He is now bombing his villages, Zelensky went on saying. Russian troops actively use drones, in particular, reconnaissance ones, in order not to shoot them down with expensive surface-to-air missiles at $100,000 apiece, the armed forces of Ukraine are forced to improvise. In search of cheaper ways to counter Russian drones, the Ukrainian military has organized mobile fleets of trucks armed with machine guns, Forbes writes. In addition to a Yak-52 training aircraft with a shotgun in the back is used for these purposes. Moreover, the military has even trained drone operators to ram Russian drones with Ukrainian ones. Ukrainian crews are now shooting down Russian drones using machine guns mounted in the nose of Mi-8 transport helicopters. This is an echo of World War II, when machine gunners in the nose of heavy bombers protected their aircraft from enemy fighters. This week, a video appeared online showing one Mi-8 armed with a cannon. In the video, the gunner, sandwiched between the pilot and co-pilot of the helicopter, fires a machine gun through the nose, blowing up a drone flying directly under the helicopter. The article says, The Mi-8 helicopter has always had the ability to carry cannons under the wing consoles. They can also be mounted on open side doors. Only a few variants were armed with cannons, under the nose, but probably any model with transparent glazing can be equipped with such weapons. The Ukrainian army has several types of Mi-8 with glazed noses in its fleet, 
which numbers about 75 Mi-8s and similar Mi-17s, that's about 50 pre-war helicopters minus 25 wartime losses, plus 50 new Mi-8 stroke 17s that Ukraine received from its allies. In pre-war photographs, several Ukrainian Mi-8s are shown with canvas flaps, hinting at a possible future role for the helicopters as drone hunters, the author of the article notes. The mi 8 cockpit is large enough for three crew members to sit side by side, two pilots and a gunner. It's an awkward arrangement, made even worse by the smoke that fills the cockpit with every cannon shot. But that doesn't mean an MI-8 with a gunner on board isn't an effective drone killer. One of the earliest modern drones, Shotdown, did just that in Bosnia in the early 1990s.